Hi friends, many of you were asking me through emails sending messages that how they can learn WordPress. And today in this video, I have got a super exciting tutorial for you. We are going to learn how to install WordPress locally on your Windows computer. And this tutorial is perfect for beginners who want to learn WordPress and want to practice building websites on WordPress without paying for hosting. So without wasting more time. Let's begin our tutorial. So the step number one is introduction to local development. First, let's talk about why you might want to install WordPress locally. By setting up a local environment, you can develop and test your website without needing a web host. So by installing WordPress locally on your computer, you can learn many things about WordPress easily. Now let's move to step number two. That is downloading Jamp. Now to install Jamp, open your web browser and go to a website apachefriends.org. As we are going to install Jamp on Windows, therefore you need to select this option Jamp for Windows. Click on it and it will start downloading Jamp software in your computer. Now here is the step number three that is installing Jamp into your Windows computer. To install click on next and here on select component screen you need to make sure that apache mysql and php my admin are selected these are the components that are definitely required to work wordpress accurately now click on next and here jamp is going to install in c drive and then click on next select your language and then click on next and again click on next so it's going to install jamp software into our windows computer Friends, you can see that our Jamp installation is complete. Next, click on this finish button. Our Jamp software is installed. And after starting this software, next click on this start button to start Apache service. And then next click on this start button to start MySQL service. After starting these services, Apache and MySQL. Now let's move forward to step number four. That is downloading WordPress software. Open a new tab in your browser and go to a website wordpress.org and then click on this get WordPress button. Here under download and install it yourself, click on download WordPress button. As soon as you click on this download WordPress button, our WordPress software will start to download. Once the WordPress software is downloaded, go to your destination folder, which in my case is downloads and then right click on WordPress zip folder and click on extract all to extract this folder into your computer. Click on extract button. After extracting the WordPress folder, next go to step number five. That is setting up the database. To set up database for your WordPress installation, go to your web browser, open a new tab and write here localhost slash php my admin and click on enter this will open the php my admin interface next click on databases tab and create a new database give it a name for example wordpress underscore db and then click on create after creating wordpress database next go to step number six that is configuring wordpress to configure wordpress Go to your downloads folder where you extracted WordPress folder. Open this folder, copy WordPress folder and then go to your Jamp installation directory. And typically it's located in C drive. Here you can see this is Jamp folder. Open it and then go to your htdocs folder and then paste your WordPress folder here. Now next rename this folder according to your requirement. For example, rename it to my WordPress. After renaming your WordPress folder, Next, go to your web browser, open a new tab and write here localhost slash my WordPress and click enter. After going to localhost slash my WordPress, it will show you this page. Select your preferred language here. In my case, it is English United States. Click on continue. Now next click on let's go and here we need to enter WordPress database name. As you remember, we created our database with the name WordPress underscore DB. So we are going to enter this WordPress database name here. Next go to username right here root and for password field leave it blank and next keep the database host the same that is localhost and keep the table prefix wp underscore and then click on submit button after clicking on submit button wordpress will then check the database connection if everything is correct you will see a screen saying run the installation click on it to proceed after configuring wordpress let's move to step number seven that is installing wordpress now let's complete the wordpress installation fill in your site 
right information here such as site title username password your email etc let's give it a site title now here in site title enter your preferred site title name in my case it is digit crafter and then go to username right here root this is your username and then in password right again root next click on this checkbox confirm use of weak password as we are writing weak password here so therefore we need to click on this checkbox and then in your email field enter your email address you can enter a dummy email address for example in my case digitcrafter at gmail.com and then click on install wordpress make sure to note down your username and password after a few moments you should see a success message saying that wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy here at this step we have successfully installed wordpress locally on our windows 11 machine now friends let's log in into our wordpress dashboard click on this login button and then under username write your username that we created in previous step and our username is root and then in next password field enter your password which is also root if you need to remember the password and username click on this checkbox and then click on login friends our wordpress installation is complete and you can see we have installed wordpress in our windows computer and this is our wordpress dashboard this is the side panel now to test your local website go to this home menu and then click on visit site you can see here our site title is digit crafter and this is the sample page of our website and why we are seeing this layout in our website because wordpress has applied a default theme so if you need to change layout of your website go to your dashboard and then go to appearance and click on themes you can see latest theme that is activated on our wordpress website its name is 2024 and if you need to install another theme you can go to add new theme and here in this section you can pick any theme that is suitable for you and that's it friend for today's tutorial now you can start building and testing your wordpress site locally if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from it don't forget to subscribe to my channel that is digit crafter for more wordpress tutorials and tips Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video. Take care and bye.